Good evening. We begin with breaking news and a Burmese refugee has been charged over the Springvale Bank fire. Crime reporter Alexis Daish is at the Melbourne Magistrates Court with the exclusive details. Now, Alexi, the man is accused of 90 offences. Good evening to you, Pete. That's right. Detectives swooped on 21-year-old Nur Islam earlier on today and took him into custody before bringing him here to the Melbourne Magistrates Court. Now, this comes after a long and extensive investigation into what took place on that awful day back in November. Police allege that Islam is responsible for setting that Springvale Bank branch on fire using petrol and injuring 26 innocent people. Now, we can uh, confirm tonight, Pete, that the arson and explosive squad has formally charged Islam with 90 separate offences and his charges include intentionally and recklessly causing serious injury, criminal damage by fire, conduct endangering life and gross violence. Now Islam is still in the building here waiting for his case to be heard. I'm told that it is only minutes away and here are the rest of today's developments. This was Nur Islam's first outing from hospital after three months. Sitting in the back left seat, flanked by detectives, he arrived at police headquarters this morning for formal questioning. The 21-year-old from Myanmar is accused of one of the worst arson attacks in Victoria in recent years. Police allege the refugee walked into the Springvale Bank, doused himself with petrol and set the branch on fire. The Friday afternoon horror on November 18 last year injured 26 people, including the elderly, bank staff, children and babies. Islam has been in Australia since 2013. He's on a bridging visa and at the time was struggling financially. The alleged offender was seriously injured in the explosion himself, so hasn't been able to face questions from police until today. Alexis Daish, Nine News.